What's up summoners, who's ready for another patch? I'm Kangas, and in today's video, I got a sneak peek into what's coming in the next update. We're covering systems as well as champion balance changes, so make sure to hit that sub button because we drop a ton of content, and also we'll be looking at the full changes very soon. So let's hop into the video. Let's start things off with the system nerfs. The first nerf that we have is for Hail of Blades. Hail of Blades provides an incredible amount of burst damage, with the three hit effects being quite common, and even for champions with that one, a rapid succession of three attacks can still pack a punch. Champions like Tristana find way too much value with this rune currently, and it provides an excessive amount of power to champions that require a set amount of stacks to trigger some sort of effect. So as a result, it's getting nerfed. We don't know exactly what the nerf is, but I would expect it to lose some of the early game power. Another thing that's getting nerfed is Biscuit Delivery. This is a go-to for lots of players, notably in high elo. It provides free sustain, which can come in absolutely clutch during the laning phase. Playing lane with and without it feels vastly different, as the extra sustain provides a ton of extra space for minor mistakes. Otherwise, when your trades are close and you're fighting for every inch, not having Biscuit Delivery puts you significantly behind an enemy that does have it. So it's also receiving a nerf next patch. Moving forward into the system buffs, this upcoming cycle, it looks like we're only looking at items. First up for buffs is Wardstone. It's noted that this is going to be a quality of life buff, and I imagine that what Riot will hit are the steep requirements to purchase the item to begin with. Level 13 is pretty late into the game, and having to place 20 wards before it upgrades can also be pretty tough. It's a bit excessive in my opinion, so we'll have to see how they buff it. Also, if you didn't know this even existed in the game, I don't really blame you. Next up, we have a buff for Staff of Flowing Water. While this item used to provide bonus movement speed as part of the bonus effect, that was changed to Ability Haste a couple patches back. Ultimately, the item ended up a lot weaker, as it used to be so versatile and fit into practically every enchanter's build. As a result, it's getting some buffs next patch, but we're still expecting to be slightly weaker than on release. And we also have a buff coming for Moonstone Renewer. I'm just hoping that the Moonstaff meta doesn't make its return after both of these items get buffed, because when I saw these on the list, I got a little panicky. This item's also gone through various changes over the course of the season, and while previously overpowered, it's now in a much weaker state than release. So for those exact same reasons, it's getting buffed. And once again, we also have some buffs for Trinity Force. Even after previous buffs, top lane fighters still aren't as prevalent as we thought. Juggernauts continue to dominate in the top lane, and with another small buff, fighters should hopefully have enough power to fight back and shift the meta. And in that same regard, Divine Sunderer is also receiving a buff. Although it's one of the less popular purchases, it's a great tank busting item, meaning that both Juggernauts and tank players have something to watch out for next patch. And I'm starting to get the feeling that Riot hates the tank meta right now because Black Cleaver is also getting a buff. Top lane and jungle meta will definitely shift a certain direction with all these changes. And finally, we also have a buff for Serpent's Fang. This time it's getting buffed only for ranged champions though. There's a pretty big penalty at the moment for ranged champions building it, so reducing that should hopefully give ranged champions a chance to still build it in situations that call for the item. It's really unique, so seeing more of this in games I think is kind of cool. With all the system changes out of the way, we can finally move on to champion balances next. First up, let's talk about the upcoming nerfs. The jungle is especially a place where things need to be looked at. We recently saw massive system changes, and as a result, it's time to do some fine-tuning to specific champions. The following champions are all receiving nerfs next patch. Morgana, Lee Sin, Rumble, Elise, Leona, Urgot, Shaco, and Kiana. That's a lot of jungle balance, and I'm sure that players who aren't playing the current meta are happy to know what's coming up. Morgana and Lee Sin in particular are solid top tier junglers that are just way too strong at the moment in solo queue. Rumble and Elise are oppressive high elo picks, and Shaco is also just a menace to play against in any game. We also see Leona, Urgot, and Kiana getting hit as they're all top tier picks as well. Kiana's running rampant in high elo, so I'm sure elite players can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Next up, we got champion buffs. The following champions are all on the list. Azir, Graves, Hecarim, Ryze, Ezreal, Seraphine, Alawi, and Teemo. And honestly, I can kind of agree with the need for all these buffs. Azir was nerfed heavily for his success in competitive play, and this came at the cost of solo queue players, so hopefully Riot's found a solution that can buff him without breaking him at the top level. Graves, meanwhile, has been underperforming for the first time in a long time, so he's up for some buffs alongside Hecarim, who got absolutely gutted. The other champions have been underperforming as well, Ezreal in particular, as while he is popular, he's held a pretty low win rate for quite some time. Elawi's also been struggling because she doesn't get much out of the new items this season, so I'm happy for her player base as they've been definitely left out to dry. All, like, 10 of them. Finally, we have champion adjustments. 
The two champions receiving changes are Master Yi and Senna. For Master Yi, Riot wants to move him away from Dustblade-based builds, which turn him into an assassin, and instead bring him back to attack speed builds. In Senna's case, they want to shift her away from Frostfire Gauntlet, which is supposed to be an item designed for tanks. So that'll wrap up our upcoming changes for patch 11.11. .11. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. We'll of course release the full changes very soon, so make sure to keep an eye out on the channel and make sure you're subscribed. Until next time though, best of luck on the Rift everybody, stay hydrated, and I'll see you next time.